Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into mobile phones. Whether you're trying to decide which model to buy or you've ever wondered why everyone seems to be obsessed with iPhones, this video is for you. By the end, you'll have all the info you need to make the right choice and I promise, it's going to be straightforward. Choosing a phone is a lot simpler than flipping a light switch. First, let's talk about something you'll notice every time you pick up your phone, the display. The display is arguably one of the most important aspects of a phone, especially if you're into gaming, streaming or just scrolling through social media. To get a sense of the best displays out there, I recommend heading over to DisplayMate.com. They conduct in-depth analyses and provide ratings on various phone displays, breaking down details like color accuracy, brightness and contrast. It's a solid resource to see which phones really stand out in terms of screen quality. When choosing a phone, look for one with an OLED or AMOLED display. These types offer better brightness, contrast, and overall color accuracy compared to IPS LCD screens. AMOLED, in particular, is an enhanced version of OLED with better color accuracy and higher refresh rates, making it perfect for smooth gaming experiences. Speaking of refresh rates, this is measured in Hertz and indicates how many times the screen refreshes per second. A 120 Hertz screen, for example, can display 120 frames per second, making everything look smoother, especially when gaming or scrolling through content. Next up, let's dive into performance. Performance is key, especially if you're into multitasking, gaming, or running demanding apps. For a quick comparison, I suggest using the Geekbench browser. This site ranks phones based on their CPU and GPU performance, giving you a clear picture of how different models stack up. When evaluating performance, you want to focus on the CPU and GPU. These components determine how fast and smoothly your phone can handle tasks, from running apps to playing games. The Geekbench scores will give you a good idea of a phone's capability. A higher score generally means better performance, so keep that in mind when making your decision. If you're into gaming, make sure the Android phone you're eyeing has at least 8GB of RAM. It's a sweet spot for most mobile games, ensuring that your experience is lag-free. Now let's talk about cameras, an essential feature for many of us. To compare camera quality, I recommend checking out gsmarina.com. They offer detailed comparisons and reviews of smartphone cameras, including sample shots and analyses. It's a great way to see how different phones perform in real-world photography and videography. One quick tip, don't get too caught up in megapixels. A higher megapixel count doesn't always mean better photos. Factors like sensor size, lens quality, and image processing play a significant role in how good your photos will look. Gis Marina's reviews will give you a balanced view of all these aspects. For those of you serious about mobile photography, make sure to consider factors like low light performance, video stabilization, and the versatility of different camera lenses, wide angle, telephoto, etc. These will make a huge difference in the quality of your photos and videos. Let's move on to storage, something you definitely don't want to overlook. When it comes to storage, my advice is simple aim for at least 128 gigabytes. If you can, 256 gigabytes is even better. In 2024, most new phones have ditched external storage options, so it's important to get enough internal storage from the get-go. Sites like Phonere.com offer comparisons of different phone models, including details on available storage options, which can be a helpful guide. Remember, it's not just about having space for your apps and photos future-proofing is key. Getting more storage now means you won't have to worry about running out of space as apps, photos and videos continue to increase in size. Now, onto battery life, an aspect that can make or break your daily experience. For battery comparisons, I suggest checking out reviews on AndroidAuthority.com. They provide in-depth battery life tests, including real-world usage scenarios that give you a better idea of how long a phone's battery will actually last. When you look at a phone's battery specs, you'll see a value measured in milliampere hours. While a higher MA number generally means longer battery life, it's not the only factor. Display technology, processor efficiency, and software optimization all play a role in how long a phone will last on a single charge. Android authorities' reviews take all these factors into account, giving you a more accurate picture. Fast charging and wireless charging are pretty standard features on most new phones, but it's worth double-checking that the phone you're interested in supports them if these are important to you. Let's tackle the big question iPhone or Android. First, why do people love iPhones? Simplicity is a big factor. iPhones are generally more user-friendly and tend to have fewer issues like ghost screens or malfunctioning sensors, which can be more common in some Android models. If you're looking for a reliable, headache-free experience, an iPhone could be the better choice. Another point in favor of iPhones is the Apple ecosystem. If you already own a MacBook or an Apple Watch, getting an iPhone makes sense because of how seamlessly these devices work together. 
features like AirDrop, which lets you quickly share files between Apple devices, or the Continuity Camera, which turns your iPhone into a webcam for your Mac, are incredibly convenient. Sure, Android has similar features, but they're often not as polished or reliable. Another point for iPhones is their resale value. They hold their value well, and when it's time to upgrade, you'll likely get a good price for your old iPhone. Plus, don't buy into the myth that iPhones are always more expensive than Androids. Flagship models from both sides often have similar price tags these days. For example, the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, both with 256GB of storage, are priced pretty much the same. But what about Android? The biggest advantage of Android is variety. With so many models to choose from, you're bound to find one that suits your specific needs and budget. Plus, Android phones offer more features and customization options than iPhones. If you like to tweak settings or customize your home screen, Android is the way to go. One of the downsides of iPhones is that Apple sometimes pushes you toward their more expensive models. For instance, with the iPhone 15, if you want faster transfer speeds, you're forced to opt for the Pro models because the standard ones are stuck with slower USB 2.0 speeds. On the flip side, Android offers much more flexibility. The file management system is superior to iOS and notifications are better organized. Plus, you get more freedom in terms of customization. You can change the look of your home screen, install widgets, and even install custom ROMs if you're into that sort of thing. Subscribe to our channel for insider guides, breathtaking unboxing, and comparison tips that will help improve your productivity. Join our community of adventurers today.